Tootie. Where are you, you little rascal? We made such a big deal out of you in Banjo-Kazooie. And now, like, we don't even care about you. <laughs> so yeah, that was basically one of those things I guess Rare probably forgot about. And they're like, well, we gotta put it, we gotta put her in somehow, so yeah, that's just more proof that this game was rushed, I guess. Because it kinda was. Anyway, I'm telling myself to um get back to um banjo quicker, because there's only two warp heads in this level, annoyingly enough. Uh the first one is the one in the entrance and the other one's here in the cavern. So today, um, hopefully we'll actually be making decent progress. Uh, let's see, getting that. Uh, we're gonna get the little Jinjo with the spring pad. Oh yeah, take note, this is all post-commentary since I pre-recorded pretty much the rest, of the, the rest of this level because, well, for one thing, I was getting frustrated through live commentary. And the second thing is, well, uh, my setup sucked with the old mic, so... Now I'm gonna go here because I completely forgot about that. Normally you're supposed to go through with Banjo and Kazooie, or you can just do this with Kazooie and just do this. Um, so there's probably gonna be some game audio lag, but that's just with the mic, so that's not really my problem. Or, that's just the ROM in general. So, let's just blow that up. And get the third combination, I guess. Um. This segment's gonna be pretty much a bunch of preparation for, like, a lot of the later levels. Or sorry, the, a lot of the later jiggies, so hopefully this is bearable. And random thing with a candy cane. I don't know what's, what's up with those guys. They are just funky looking. And pretty much, you have to be, you have to be prepared to um, fight them every time because they, they're, they're gonna randomly show up at times and they're gonna pretty much piss you off. So I'm going to the top here just to use the glide move somewhere um, to get a certain thing. Because Kazooie and gliding is kind of, <laughs> yeah, almost a broken mechanic. Oh, or not, but you're, I think this is the only way to get here anyway with the glide move. So yeah, do that to get to this ice cavern. Although it's not, an, it's not part of Hailfire Peaks, unfortunately. Anytime now. I really should have edited out some of these transitions, but whatever. Here's the last egg thing I never hatched, and this is obviously for Banjo. So we can get up there. So we can do Mr. Fitz later missions. I don't know, I just hate Mr. Fitz. He's just really weird, especially in Nuts and Bolts. He's like in every um, act in Nuts and Bolts, I think. Yeah. It's like, wow, you put him in, you put him in as a last minute character in this game, but then you make him severe, you make him have several roles in the next, in the sequel. Well, that wouldn't come for like eight years, so here I just randomly time skipped because I spent too much time, ugh, searching around for that thing until I realized, well, hey, it's over there. So if you see those notes and the jam jars move, yeah, we're gonna get the last move in the game. And the last time you're gonna see Banjo or, or Kazooie gain a mo new move. This is also the last time you're gonna see his crazy move rhymes, so... Um, until obviously, I think the credits, you'll see. So, here we got this. I'm probably singing off sync because I can't hear the game audio. Something, 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 something. So basically, this is a bouncing move. And really, you only use this once in the game, sadly. Um, let's see. Do I show it off here? I hope I do. I don't remember if I show it off, so... I just use the sack pack there just to get some momentum. I mean, hopefully not to die. And let's see, I don't I don't think I actually show off the move itself. So I probably did show it off on a previous, like, failed um, take of this. So... Okay, I don't know what I was doing there. Ugh, I was being pretty much an idiot during this recording session. The past me just sucks. Also, I don't know why I went for this thing. Because that essentially just didn't do anything at all. I was so it too, but... Pro tip, never go to those, because they get really faster, especially during this level. And let's see, I'm gonna grab my bird, because I think I'm done with all the Banjo and Kazooie, Kazooie exclusive stuff. Except for like one or two things, but I'll get to those later. So let's go to here.
one incredibly long transition later. There we go. Why was that annoying? And also, yay, sun glitch. Ugh. I do have a way to fix that, but if I do um, fix it, then it'll cause massive lag in the game, so... Unless you want to hear massive lag, um, yeah, it's not worth the trouble. Especially me playing it, I don't want to play it like that, so... Yeah, sorry, nothing I can do to fix that, unlike I did how I did in my own temple, whatever. Which was like four months ago, jeez, this playthrough's been going on for far too long now. I just want to goddamn finish this game. Fuck you. Uh, yeah, I'm, if, if this was live commentary, I'd probably swear the hell out of this video, because it's so frustrating. I don't know, this, uh, near the end of the game, I get really frustrated, I don't know why. I mean, it's a good game, and to me, this game is, is more fun if you don't, like, do a playthrough on it, like, live commentary, but, whatever. I don't know, my opinion kind of changed on this game as the um, playthrough progressed. Let's see, it's not even because of the stop and swap thing, it's just that... Uh, I don't know, I just... I don't know why, I just am frustrated every time I play 2. It, it's really a frustrating game. Especially if you're going for a low health challenge like I am. But still... Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm still, I still do kind of like this game slightly better than Kazooie, but I still like some of the stuff from Kazooie a lot, like, let's see. I mean, sure, the um, dance animation for, like, the Jiggy Gut scenes takes time, but at least it was neat, and it, it was, it's something that made me happy, I don't know why, it just felt like I was awarded rather than, rather than this game, where you're just basically... You just basically get the jiggy, but there's no, like, animation. That's the one thing I missed, and also, incredibly long death scene. I don't know why that took so long. Hooray, sunlight. Excellent. I am excellent at this game, because I can cause the sun to... Yeah. You know, this should be a... You know, if this was a blind playthrough, I could make the entire screen black, and then it would be blind. Lol. But no, I'm not gonna do that. So, uh, go and... Oh wait, I, yeah, I was going here because I wanted to get the, um, what's that thing called, the uh, Globos, yeah, the two Globos I never got before, and jumping down, and let's see, random cut there, I don't know what was up with that, but whatever, and somehow the game is incredibly laggy here, but whatever, and you're gonna see probably some tiling errors here, if they still occur, but whatever. Uh, yeah, there it is. Uh, 865 nuts, okay, only about, um, I'd say about seven more, I think. Uh, cause six is one, yeah, seven, okay, got it. Uh, that's another thing I hate, well, that's another thing I hate about this game. They made Jiggy note collecting way too easy. It just gave you, I mean, sure, the levels were fake to begin with, and... Finding all of the notes would be tedious if there, there, it was in separate columns, but still, I like finding like each note individually. Um, they did that for Grunty's Revenge and, yeah, the original band over there. Also, they, that, they even did that for Nuts and Bolts, so this is, and this is the one of the games that's the odd one out. Um, so, I don't know what's up with these things. They have flowers, they have sausages, and sometimes they have candy canes. It's really odd. So, in this pool here, exists another global, as you can see. Unfortunately, let's see, um, yeah, unfortunately the camera refuses to work for me, so I cannot see what I'm doing. But, ugh, damn, camera angles, ugh. Well, it's not that bad, but I think, I like the mo camera angles from Mario Sunshine, or Ma Mario Sunshine and, uh, 64 a lot, but, eh. Actually, I actually hate the camera angles in, uh, 64, but, whatever. Um, I think I'm the only one who actually hates it, so... One incredibly long... Uh, really, what's up with all these long transitions? And I swear, it's not even the ROM. It, it happens in the actual game, too. I don't know what's up with that, so... Switching to Kazooie here to break this Kazooie rock, so... Um, all the water can be drained, and all the fishies can die. You know, there are, like, no sea animals here. So that goes all the way down the, um... Pterodactyl Land. Now, who needs water in Pterodactyl Land? Remember? I do, but do you? This guy, here. 
Yes, the one. Eventually. Um, water. The guy, he was like thirsty and was complaining about there being no, not enough water or something. So yeah, here it is. Yippee, my pool is full! And also, we mentioned earlier that um, we, the water's gonna fall from the sky, so basically this is just one of those missions just like, how long can you wait to think about the secret? So yeah, it's falling from the sky. And yeah. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. So, um, he's gonna give us a Jiggy off screen, which is good because it would have been annoying to travel all the way back to Terry Dactyland just to get that thing. Um, so, yeah, now Terry Dactyland's 100% complete, and then the only level we haven't fully completed is Jolly Roger the game, and I believe this level actually. So, that'll. Yeah, yeah, that's it, so. And yeah, obviously get the final boss stuff, and yeah, yada yada. There was a stupid bee there, so die bee. Um, this level is pretty much like Click Mock Wood from Banjo Kazooie. Oh, except it's a, a lot longer. Is they brought the bees back, and um, once you get once you see the transformation, it you'll see what I mean. So the transformation now? No, I didn't, so... I'm not gonna go to uh, Walmart yet, since I like to do her stuff last. Especially the certain person next to her that's evil and yellow, so... Yeah. And we will not even mention her, because she's so evil. Whatever. I don't know... <sighs> Long transitions, my god. Another complaint with the game. At least the ones in Kazooie were bearable, because they didn't take as long. And I know they fixed it for the Xbox Live version, which is neat. Ugh. Damn, I... Damn technology advancing as the years go by. How dare it advance. So, screw you, sausage. I'm going to Mumble Skull now. <gasps> but which one... Is, which one is it going to be? I mean, there's there's totally no evil mumble in um one of the skulls at all. No, no, no. This one totally doesn't. Have, this one does not. Definitely does not have the real mumble on it. This one has the I don't know. And a random minjo there that I tried to kill for some reason. I don't know what was going on in my mind at this time. It was really odd. So I'm gonna get mumble now. And let's see. Yeah, same old dialogue, yada yada yada. Yeah, we got the Globo, now you give us the uh, ability to use you. It's kind of weird how he needs the power of a magic Globo thing to use his powers, it's really odd. So, yeah, get out your magic shaman wand. Also, that thing looks a lot like the thing from Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Balls. I mean, it's supposed to be since it's a shaman wand, but still. M Mumble's really weird in Nuts and Balls. Instead of a magic person, he's like a uh, repairman, which I guess makes sense, but yeah. It's really odd seeing, seeing him as a designer, but whatever. General Cavern. Now, speaking of Nuts and Balls, um. Yeah, it's it, it's not as bad as people like say it is. I mean, most of the people who play the game like haven't even tried. Most people who criticize the game though, haven't even tried it. And then those who have, well, yeah, there's vehicles, but I think Rare once mentioned that um the Bandit Zero Mode was originally meant to be a platformer, but as they designed the levels, the levels got too big and. It would be so much tedious stuff, even more than two we had, so... Yeah, I, the car has been convenient, but yeah, they still could have, like, put more platforming in than just designing vehicles. I like how you get to make your own vehicles in the game, though. Um, and, well, yeah, you can basically do it as, like, a test, test and run thing. It actually is really neat, and it's really fun. Uh, yeah, you can pretty much tell I'm ignoring the game since, uh, this part really frustrated me the most. I died about four times just to get Mumbo up here. Um, they're all edited out, so you obviously can't tell. Um, now that I told you, yeah. And plus, I was gonna originally include all the death scenes, but due to time constraints, um, I decided not- I, d I decided to leave them out, so. 